So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add text to 3ds Max. It's in crazy, um, so this should not take very long. But if you go over to your command panel in the Create tab, um, if you're working with 2017, it may look a little bit different. But if you go over to your tab and um, go over to Shapes, you're going to see your Splines tab open up. Um, there's an option for text, which you can click on. And if you simply just click in your scene, um, you will see your text pop up. Now, I'm going to go ahead and delete this and go to my four viewports using my Maximize Viewport Toggle button. And I'm going to click in my front viewport and click again. So we have our text that has shown up. Um, if you were to try and render this, go up to my Render button, or you can just press Q, you'll see that no text shows up. Um, that's because we're working with a two-dimensional shape in a three-dimensional space, so there's actually no geometry for us to work with. So the way we can do that, um, I will actually wait a couple minutes, but feel free to change the font um, to whatever you'd like. You can change the size um, by typing in whatever you'd like or just using your scale buttons. You can adjust the kerning, which is a spacing between letters or the ling if you have multiple lines of text. Um, so for now, um, I'm just going to keep it like this and I will show you how to actually add dimension and shape. The first thing you can do is you can go up to your rendering tab and say enable and render and enable viewport which is some thickness. Now, if we look at our perspective view, it just looks like an outline. So if I were to go to Shift Q again to render, you'll see we get a nice outline could be really neon signs if you're looking to accomplish something like that. Um, you can change that shape to either be radial or um, more cylindrical or rectangular, which is going to make it boxy. Um, you can also adjust any of those parameters to make it as thick or as thin as you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck those. The add dimension is to go to your modifier list and you can use the extrude modifier and you can adjust the amount to whatever you want. Note that um, the depth increases as you increase the amount. So that is how you make text in 3ds Max. Um, it can be manipulated in any way. You can select and move, rotate, scale, um, add various different modifiers, which we'll talk about in later tutorials. But let's just go ahead and render, and you'll have a nice logo or text to start with.